Africa, my name is Bola Nomutisi, representing the beautiful mountain kingdom of Lesotho. So uh, I am a transcriptionist. I work as a transcriptionist. I'm also a fashion student. Um, I am contesting for Miss Africa Bar 2022 because I believe that it is one of the only few pageants that uh, accept diversity. We know most pageants accept like tall, slim women, and Miss Africa is the only pageant that, that I know of that embraces diversity and that embraces differences. We've seen like many people of different heights, we've seen people of different skin conditions, skin tones, and I think it's just a platform that helps you be yourself freely. See, I'm a very peaceful person, so I try to avoid drama. So I've been with my people, which are Miss Somalia and Miss, I call her Miss America, Miss Liberia. <laughs> So those people are very peaceful people. So because of that, my experience has been a very wonderful, peaceful one. Um, what I got from the dinner with Sarah, I actually resonate with her so much because I remember before I came on here, I was on call with one of the contestants and I was really just telling her, you know what, I just want to have fun. I just want to be myself. And if I'm meant to be Miss Africa this year, I'll be Miss Africa. And what stood out to me um, on what Sarah said was, just be yourself, don't think about it too much as a competition because in that way you end up losing yourself. For someone who has not worked out in a very long time, I really did enjoy my session. Um, I haven't worked out, I think, since 2020. Um, so far, my experience in camp has been okay. There have been a few ups and downs, a few triggers here and there, but so far, we're still alive. <laughs> So that's all that matters. Uh, what I learned from the agro-industrialization site that I visited is really just the process that all these raw materials have to go through to be the finished products that we see in stores. I had such a blast at the swimmer's shoot because it was my first time swimming in a very long time and those who know me know that I really love water. So yeah, I had a lot of fun at the swimmer's shoot. The fattening room experience, um, for me, going into the fattening room, I just decided to just have fun. And I literally cannot dance to save my life. So I just told myself, you know what, I'm just going to go there and I'm going to have fun and I'm just going to uh, pay attention to detail and listen to what the instructor was telling us. And I just had fun. So me and food and fun combine, I guess, two peas in a pot, and that's how I end up winning. I thought the Mona section was going to be a therapy session, but turns out it was actually a walking session. It wasn't too bad, because at this point, I'm really used to walking in heels. Um, but I had fun. I thought I knew some stuff, because I have been in the pageant industry for a little bit by now. But I did learn something today. Okay, so I had a little emotional roller coaster at the swimmer shoot because I had um, an encounter with one of the contestants that really upset me. I felt very disrespected, uh, but me and her, we talked about things and we're okay now, so yeah.